as Tropical Storm Ian slowly churns across Florida. Sometimes it speeds less than 10 miles an hour. The danger zone is continually shifting to the north and the east. Eventually, though, this system is also expected to hit Georgia and the Carolinas. Chris Van Cleve is on the road for us today. He's following the damage. He's also keeping track of what this all means for travelers on the road. Chris, good to see you this morning. What are you seeing? Gail, we uh, left Tampa this morning. We know that there are about 300,000 people in the Tampa area without power. Reports of power lines down, trees in the road. We're on Interstate 75. Uh, traffic is light. We can show you that picture now. Traffic is light, which is exactly what first responders want. They want people to, to stay sheltered in place, stay at home, stay off the road so the power crews can get out, so the emergency crews can get out. Now, for people traveling, airports on the Gulf Coast largely going to be out of commission today. We know that uh, the the airports in uh, on the other side of the coast, in Miami and Fort Lauderdale, are assessing flights likely to resume there. We expect Key West to reopen. But in, in places like Tampa, St. Pete, Sarasota, assessments are being made. Unlikely that there'll be much flight activity for people trying to get back here today. That may restart by Friday. Um, a, a lot of airlines are offering uh, refunds, cancellations, flexibility to rebook. The other thing that, that's going on here, Disney World has closed in the Orlando area. Uh, a lot of hotels are closed, so that's creating some chaos for people who maybe were trying to plan a vacation. Disney has asked people not to try to check into hotels uh, in the Orlando area until at least tomorrow. And if you're thinking about a vacation right now, it's still a, a very treacherous situation for a, a lot of Florida. Uh, Airbnb be in vacation rentals. Those refunds are being left up to the hosts. If we can come back out here live, we, here's a look at 75. We're about 100 miles from downtown Fort Myers. Uh, we know it gets worse from here. We're still feeling uh, pretty strong wind gusts, um, 30, 40 miles an hour. Uh, that's going to continue as we go south. Uh, and uh, what we've, we've seen trees down. Uh, we've seen, uh, we saw uh, some, some minor damage in this area. We know hundreds of thousands of people are, are in the dark here. Going to be even more so as we we monitor Chris. and bringing updates today. This so is the winds. Uh, Chris Van Cleve, we're starting to lose your shot and your audio there in a hard hit part of the country as you're on the road for us. Uh, Chris, thank you very much. Uh, we got it, the majority of his message. What yeah, we got saying? the we yeah. got the message there. Those it's winds see. really start to kick in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they go sideways. I mean, I'm surprised they have power even there. Yeah. Uh, even though further north, 